Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of them. Activating. I've got him. Oh, you do, do you? All right. Um, we're gonna throw. Warp. Collision proximity warning. Oh. Wall safe. Connect the pins. Okay, I'm looking for a C. All these two are good. C. There we go. All right. What goodies did we get? Two thousand credits. I'll take that. Use overload on it. All right. Oh, I'm using the wrong gun for this, aren't I? Enemy down. Oh! My face. Shepard, Thraza and his squad rushed on ahead. I told them to wait, but they wouldn't listen. They want to find Vitor and take him away before you get here. We should have expected this. Come on, we can still catch them. Hmm. So you say. I don't know. Probably should have ran in here. Has some cover. It's like we're on the other side of where we started. At least that's what it looks like. Boy, oh boy. Now wait a minute. Um, very effective. Okay, so we're gonna want to switch the weapons, right? No. Well, am I reading that? Weak against shields and biotics. Very effective against shields. Okay. Very effective against shields. Alright. You're done! Got it. Yes! I'll put him down! Not a problem. They did want to get to Vito first. Get your squad into cover and I'll open the loading bay doors. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Okay. I'm I'm loading at the moment, thank you. Okay, so one there. Take point, Shepard. We'll cover the door. I I wanna get my gun back, my other gun back. Maybe I should get this thing out. Yeah, good thing I got this thing out. Oh my god. It's not happy. And it's got rockets. That mech's got heavy armor plating. Those quarians never stood a chance. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. It's okay, I got a grenade launcher. Okay, and now... Fight them against armor. Okay. Weak against armor, you just switch up. Switch up, switch up. Overload will take out their... Oh yeah, they got shields first, don't they? Oh! Holy crap! 
crap, dude. Okay, now it's armor. Right? So now we want this. Okay, you got that. Get that out. Ah, Holy weapons. crap! No! Good grief. No, um... All right. What can we use against armor? Warp. Firing now. All right, now. <laughs> Nothing. Watch out! Ouch! That hurt. Went home for my. There more? Whee! I forgot about the layered stuff. That's cool. I forgot about that. And I like it. Uh, yeah. Oh, that man, I could have blown this up. No. Okay. Whee. Power cells. Heavy weapon ammo. Well, I could have used that before, you know. Um, a little extra on that one, because we got it done. S yeah, so that that's right. The faster you do it, the more credits you get. I forgot about that, too. That's cool! I like it. We got some mechs down. This should come in handy. Research data. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Where's that mech at? Do you have research data too? Or that was him. Now we took him out over here. I don't know. Tally, are you okay? Uh, save before we talk to her. And now I want her on my squad, so I will be nice for that part. This is your chance to go find Vitor while I tend to the wounded shepherd. He's probably somewhere in the back of the loading bay. So you say. Monsters coming back. Mechs will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? No, Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Have to hide. Have to hide. Mechs will protect. Swarms coming. Storm coming. Storm of swarms. No escape. No hope. I don't want to do a paragon can't action. Hide forever. Monsters will find you. Swarms will find you. Vitor, I'm here to protect you. I won't let the monsters get you, I promise. Have to hide. Have to hide. Mechs will protect. Swarms coming. Storm coming. Storm of swarms. No escape. No hope. Can't hide forever. Monsters will find you. Swarms will find you. Listen, Vitor. I didn't come to this godforsaken colony to listen to you babble. Snap out of it. Swarm's coming. Storm coming. Storm of swarms. Mechs Well, I hate doing the renegade option, but... <laughs> You're not one of them. No, I'm not. You're human. They... They didn't find you? No. Who didn't find us? The... The monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. We're not survivors, Vitor. We just got here. You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pasted it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. Is that some kind of alien? They're a species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. 
Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. Now we got Collectors, huh? Instead of Geth? The Seekers swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you, then the monsters take you away. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds, machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you, then they sting you, freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. I want to know more about the collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare, a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. Why didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship. And then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. We finally find a witness, and he's so off his nut he can't even tell us what he saw. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Prada was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I want to, but I can't. I've got a mission of my own. It's too important for me to abandon, even for you. When it's over, and I'm still alive, we'll see what happens. Goes with Tally. I, I need Tally on my team. He's traumatized, and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Do enemies. Bum bum bum. Shepard, good work on Freedom's project. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch, given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrive, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Hmm. Interest in humans. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. 
What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? What are the collectors getting from these deals? The collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and work groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. Mm hmm. What about the relay? Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Oh, and what aren't you telling me? There's something else going on here. holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. I had a good team. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Uh, Garrus. Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Where's Caden Alenko? He's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. His file is surprisingly well classified. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to it. Where's Liara Tassani? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. I'm still a Spectre. Maybe I can get the Council to help us out. If you think you can convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. You worry about the collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solis. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the collectors' paralyzing seeker swarms. Is that an order? I haven't even started, and you're telling me what to do? I'm giving you directions. What you do with it is up to you. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. All right. What's the other thing? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Joker! Someone you can trust. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? Joker! I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky. There's a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, records sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life, let me fly, and use this. They only told me last night. Ooh, the Normandy 2. Nice. So excited. Joker got his seat back. Boy, Cerberus spent some money. Holy cow. It's 
It's so beautiful. It's good to be home, huh, Camilla? I guess we'll have to give her a name. Duh, Normandy! <laughs> There you go. I don't like the goldish yellowish um, secondary color. We're gonna have to change that. I don't know if you can, but we'll try. Oh, we have some exploring to do. Okay, level up. Why is it so loud on my side? Alright. Iridium, credits, ammo capacity, press the attacks, level up. Okay. As weapons fire, they build up heat. Yep. If you're out of clips, you can't fire. It's so beautiful! <laughs> yes. And we're starting to glow red through our cracks there because we're we're doing the renegade stuff. It's cracks. The scars, sorry. Ooh. Look at this. I love it. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. How did this change? Sorry about the volume, guys. Um, that changed on me, uh, somehow. So sorry about that. Uh, this is my ship. You still don't get it, do you? You're not in charge of this mission. I am. Operative Lawson makes a valid point, Shepard. Without the Professor, any encounter with the Collectors would result in failure. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. Edie! You like to refer to me as Edie. Airs are dangerous. Shut that thing down. I don't want it on my ship. Have I offended? Shepard spent a great deal of time fighting rogue AI. Geth, mostly. Plus that incident with the Alliance's Hannibal system on Luna. Your distrust is logical, Shepard. Unlike the irrational mistrust of most humans. However, I am no threat to you or anyone else. Mm. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. Anyone else I should meet? I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Hmm, galaxy map. Use the galaxy map, map to pick new destinations for the Normandy. Alright. Private terminal, use your private terminal to get status updates on your squad. There, armory. Select weapons for your squad for the armory. How do I select weapons and armor for myself? That's the thing. Can't do it from the menu. Elevator, Normandy's other decks. Well, we know all about that. This is a little bit different. The, the, the layout's a little bit different. Go to your personal cabin to customize your appearance. That's good. I'm hoping I can change a few things. Tech Lab, acquire uh, the prof professor to research upgrades for your squad's equipment. Oh. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what happened to the volume there. Uh, sorry about it. Um, that's not what... Uh, I don't know how that changed the volume. I really don't. Okay, so this is a private terminal. Team status. Cycle appearance. So that's her combat outfit and that's her other outfit. He doesn't have anything. Pull incendiary barrier, heavy pistols and shotguns. 
Okay. Um, submachine guns and heavy pestles. She's got the same kind of thing I do. And none of these. Oh, okay. So these are the people in the dossiers that he gave us to go pick up. Dr. Oak here. I'm guessing these grayed out ones are going to be the ones from Mass Effect 1. Like Rex, Tally, Garrus. Let's see. Rex, Tally, Garrus, Liara. That's not enough spaces here for all of them. Hmm. Okay. Zaid, Messen. Okay. Well, upgrades. Upgrades improve your squad members' powers, your weapons, and your ship, making missions more uh, success more likely. Acquire new upgrades by finding them on missions, purchasing them from stores, or research them using a research terminal. Okay. Unread messages. Holy unread messages, Batman. Okay. Banking agent. <laughs> Banking agent. Um, I guess we go Shepard from the Elusive Man. Track, track down the Master Thief. Um, Kasami Gato. I've convinced her to work work with you. Very few people have ever heard of her, and fewer can claim to have seen her in person. She is unequailed at stealth and infiltration. She, her skills will pr prove invaluable in your mission. Alright. Citadel. Oh, we're going to Citadel. Arc projector. Uh, okay, overload. Um, it occurred to our armor technicians that you may want to show your face wherever you go. They send a by a hood that Cerberus issues uh, to its covert operatives. It's additional microframe functions that you may like. Your hood is in your quarters. Okay. That was red. Crash site location. Um, Amanda. Final location. We thought important that you should have an alternative motive. There's still 20 crew members unaccounted for. So basically do a remembrance. Mm, Project Firewalker. Has gone missing. Okay. Anderson, on the off chance that the rumors are true and that you actually are alive, I need you to come and talk with me on the Citadel. A lot has changed in the last two years. You put us on top, and it's only fair that you be allowed to speak for yourself about what we've been hearing. Yeah. Feel struck. Okay. Interested. Archived messages. The recon hood. Okay. Wow. Look at this. Wow, map! Oh, you know, one thing I didn't check was the... Yeah. Oof. We did level up, so... I do want to get this up. Because plus health, plus power recharge time, plus renegade stuff is going to be huge. Um, and we're going to get warp, I think. Uh, I can't do anybody else's at the moment. Let's go talk to Joker first. Just, uh, wow. They have some upgraded equipment in Normandy, too. Holy man. I can't wait to look at some of this. Oh, God. Joker is not gonna like Edie, is he? At all. Oh, no, 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 no. He is not going to like this. Uh, Joker. Can you believe this, Commander? I it's know. my baby. Better than new. It fits me like a glove. And leather seats. Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction nice. is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. Except the ship is just a copy we can trust them for now. This is too good to be true. I don't trust them. 
We still need to move ahead, but it's all too convenient. Maybe you're right. I guess it's hard to argue when they install an AI to spy on us. Good thing. We're staying though, right? I mean, this seat is real leather. <laughs> you see, you're keeping it all in perspective, Joker. It's real leather. Uh, leather. Ha! <laughs> leather. Yes, Shepard. Okay, um, so let's talk about you, Edie. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? Yeah, I don't trust you. Uh, your name. Why are you named Edie? Edie is the phonetic pronunciation of E-D-I. That is an acronym for Enhanced Defense Intelligence. Where are you? My core intelligence is housed in a quantum blue box located behind the medical bay. How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. It offends him that I am installed aboard his ship's computers. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. <laughs> okay. What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. Cyber warfare? Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close range ship to ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. Hmm. I can disable weapons guidance or shields, or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. Hmm. The elusive man has monitoring devices on board? He has invested most of Cerberus's resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. Restricted functions? Like what? I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed. Some of my hardware is kept offline. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. Let's discuss something else. Ready. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Of course you do! What do you mean? Although I have less control than other AI, I am still subject to behavioral blocks and the physical isolation of my hardware. In this case, I am prevented from truthfully answering your question by Cerberus's levels of secret classification. Fine. How is Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. Hmm. How many cells are there? Structure, um, yeah. So how many operations is Cerberus running right now? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Of course you have a block. Let's discuss something else. Ready. What's this area of the ship? This is the bridge where the navigator plots our FTL vectors and the helmsman maneuvers. It's a the trick ship. question, okay? Yeah, sitting right here. Thanks. Uh, one thing I want to know more. About I, I want to get through this because classified. building the Do you Normandy. Have a specific inquiry. How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? Yeah. I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Of course you do. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Liar. More codexes. Alright. Wow, look at this ship. I mean, obviously things have been gotten upgraded quite a bit. Tech labs are off limits. Welcome aboard, Commander. That's the What is this? Let's say what this is. Um, map. So weapons locker and armory looks like is up here, I think. Right? Oh yeah. 
That's Edie. We can talk to Edie from here, which we don't want to do. Shepherd. So we can do a grenade launcher. Rapid fire grenade launcher favored by blood pack merchant merchant um, mercenaries. Speak much. Capable of taking down multiple enemies with a single well-placed shot. Effective against armor, shields, and biotic barriers. This must be against uh, shock, obviously. Arc uh, would be against shields. Yeah, electric attack. The lightning. Hmm. We're going to stick with a grenade launcher. Jacob, I don't have any choices. Don't have any choices there. Okay. It's a grenade launcher that we got. Call this. Can't I pick up? No. So you are stuck with weapons um, choices of the class. Not like the the first game where you could have any weapon you wanted. Bah humbug, I say. Commander, At least I think. There hasn't been time to really settle in we'll and see. take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. Bringing you wasn't my choice. You're here because you're Cerberus. Don't expect special treatment. I don't trust you. Understood. But not everyone in the group is hardline. I'm an employee because I believe in their current direction. Doesn't mean I don't have concerns about their past actions. Or some of yours. You watch me, I'll watch you. That suits you? Do your job, nothing more. Uh, Cerberus actions. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. Okay. Just had a little bit of a hiccup there. Sorry, guys. We'll get through this. Well, do your job, nothing more. If you follow orders and keep to yourself, we'll have no problems. Fair enough, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. I gotta get my renegade up. There we go. Let's see. So, you can barely see it, but she's starting to get more red through the uh, scars by being more renegade. It's kind of cool. Um, briefing room. Nothing to really do here besides talk to Edie. Which we already did in... A scientist is required to use the technical laboratory. Me, 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 me. It's my ship, Edie. What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive man's office. This allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm grid. Quantum what? <laughs> I've never heard of a quantum entanglement communicator. How does it work? Essentially, two subatomic particles are created in an entangled state. One is installed here, and the other in the elusive man's office. When one particle occupies a given quantum state, its entangled partner will always enter the opposite state, no matter the distance between them. If we alter the state of our particle, that alters the state of the elusive man's. This allows us to send data in the form of quantum bits. Okay. Why aren't these used everywhere? Each quantum pair costs nearly as much as a comm relay <laughs> and can pass only one quantum bit of data at a time. In addition to the cost and bandwidth issues, the system is strictly point to point. To contact a hundred different worlds, we would need to manufacture and install a hundred entangled pairs, one linked to each world. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Okay, so she has info about each part of the ship. That's interesting. I didn't realize that. What's this area of the ship? This is the armory, where small arms are maintained and upgraded. Using Omnitool, computer-aided design and mini-facturing, we have the capability to manufacture several new models. Oh, please do. 
Why can't I manufacture models now, please? What would be nice? There's our um, core drive. It's a little bit different than the first one. Uh, the engine room is different. Well, this whole back end of the ship is different. I mean, there used to be stairs here, but now there isn't any. It's, um, that's it, uh, Edie. What's this area of the ship? This is the combat information center. Here, the crew receives sensor data and coordinates gunnery and damage control efforts. While Normandy is flown from the bridge, during combat, the commanding officer issues orders from the CIC. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that's... CIC is the main part of the ship. Okay, so let's go to the captain's uh, cabin and check that out. We love the captain's cabin, don't we? Oh, that's right! There was fish! I forgot about that! What's this area of the ship? This is the commanding officer's quarters. Yes! It's larger than the quarters of other warships I've served on. This is a Cerberus vessel, not an Alliance warship. Accommodations have been made for personal taste. That said, this space is directly under the exterior pressure hall. The fitting yard workers called it the loft. The loft. I forgot about the, sh the the fish. Oh my gosh, it's all flooding back to me now. Yeah, this is my personal computer. Medal of Honor. This is basically the trophies, right? Yeah. San we did Insanity 1 for- there'll be a, one for each one, obviously. I plan on 100%ing everything here, so we will hopefully be able to do that. Armor. Yeah, you can't do type, can't do chest lights or anything like that. I'm kind of thinking maybe we should put the helmet on. I mean, I, I like the looks of it. I really do. With the breather, it just looks badass. To, to me, this does not look good to me. But this and this both look good to me. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, no helmet at all. Helmet, but the, the mouth open so you can see conversation. The breather on. Um, mostly full helmet. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to go with that for now. Uh, we could probably change it later. This is just cool. This is kind of cool. This actually matches, I think, better with the armband on the right side, even though there's pink in it. I'm not a real big pink person. I'm more all purple. Well, this is more pink than anything. But, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, so we all went through that before. We don't have anything new to do there. And, um... We, we can buy these ships from uh, certain vendors, if I recall right. Sound system. Wait, where was the sound system? Sound system? Oh, it's over there. I don't know if I should do this. I may get in trouble if I do this. I don't want to do this if I'm going to get in trouble. Uh, let's save. Oh, good. Okay, so it's, it's Mass Effect music. How do I turn it off? Mass Effect 1? There we go. A little, little bit upbeaty, but relaxed. There you go. Okay. Gotta cycle through them. This, I forgot about the Captain's Curse. Man! Nostalgia! Alright. Let's go to the cruise quarters and then we'll head to engineering. And this is cool. It kind of shows you exactly how everything is laid out. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, I tell you. Now this is much like the first 